the electrolytic cell. Most metals are good conductors of electricity. When current flows through a metal wire, it produces heat, light and a magnetic field. Liquids such as pure water does not conduct electricity. However, when you add some salt to it, it starts conducting electricity. Also, when you add a few drops of sulfuric acid or sodium hydroxide to the water, you will find that the solutions conduct electricity. When electric current passes through these liquids, the liquids undergo some kind of change. The liquids break into positive and negative ions. Along with the release of gases, formation of some solids and so on. Thus, we can say that electric current also has a chemical effect. This process in which a liquid or a solution undergoes a chemical change when electric current is passed through it is called electrolysis. The liquid or the solution is called the electrolyte. The submerged metal plates through which current enters and leaves the electrolyte are called electrodes. The electrode connected to the negative terminal of a cell towards which positive ions move is called the cathode. The other electrode connected to the positive terminal of the cell towards which the negative ions move is called the anode. The electroplating process used for coating a thin layer of metal over another cheaper metal works on the principle of electrolysis. Let us take the example of electroplating copper over iron. For this, copper sulfate dissolved in water is taken as the electrolyte. The copper ions are the cations and the sulfate ions are the anions. A flat piece of pure copper metal is the anode. The iron metal to be plated is the cathode. When current is passed through the solution, the copper ions move toward the cathode. As the cathode is negatively charged electrode, it has an excess of electrons in it. Copper ions pick up these electrons and thus get deposited on the iron. Therefore, the number of copper ions starts decreasing from the solution. At the same time, the copper atoms at the anode lose electrons and move into the solution as copper ions. Thus, the copper lost to the cathode is restored by the anode. Hence, after some time, the copper anode slowly dissolves into the solution, while a layer of copper gets deposited on the iron cathode. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.